One running joke in the Steam Deck community is that the Steam Deck is the PS Vita 2. Last time we checked on Vita emulation, it wasn't where it needed to be. But progress always marches on. Vita 3K is an emulator I've been following very closely because the Vita has a lot of games that you can't play anywhere else. These are the settings we set up for Vita 3K. Vita 3K is on Emu Deck, but we changed up some of the default settings, so just pause the video if you need to. As you can see here, we used what we would consider to be typical settings that you should all use. And please, please, please do set your GPU settings to Vulkan. That said, there aren't a whole lot of other settings you need to change. And the setup process for Vita 3K is very self-explanatory. There's a little installation wizard when you launch Vita 3K for the first First time. You will want to set one of the trackpads as a mouse function, or you know, use a touchscreen. So let's start with Freedom Wars. Does it run well? Well, I would say it runs pretty well. You may be wondering why we're not using the Steam Deck's main overlay, and that's because it doesn't work properly for Vita 3K. It shows Vita 3K pegged at 60 FPS, but we all know that's not true at all. And Vita 3K does have a built-in performance metric thingy, but we forgot to enable it. All things considered, it runs pretty decently. As for the performance itself, it's almost as good as the actual hardware. Of course, there are graphical glitches abound, but I think with some more elbow grease and some more polish, they'll be able to iron out some of those graphical glitches. Next up is Gravity Rush. I mean, this speaks for itself. The game runs, but this is unplayable, which is kind of unfortunate too. I mean, there is a PS4 version, but it's not on PC or anything. Also, another thing is that Gravity Rush is quite reliant on the Vita's own gyroscope. And of course, naturally, I'm curious as to how they'll implement this into Vita 3K. And of course, the cutscenes are equally broken as well makes it really hard to follow. Here's a little curveball. The Idol Master, Must Songs, presented by Taiko no Tatsujin. You can't even make it past the main menu. No buttons work, nothing works. Now let's try a AAA game, like Killzone Mercenaries. Does it work? Well, no, it doesn't work. And here's this little gem from Japan called Miracle Girls Festival. Does this game work though? Well, let's see if it works or not. And like Killzone Mercenaries, unfortunately, it crashes as well. Now what about Love Life, School Idol Paradise? I mean, the game seems like it works just fine. The only problem is if you don't know how to read Japanese, you can't play this game because it's Japan exclusive. But I mean, like, translation patches are always a thing and they may be able to translate this in the future. As for the gameplay itself, everyone's got like a bluish tint in their skin. It's really weird looking. But hey, I mean, the game runs. Now let's try Hanaya Mata. It's a visual novel with rhythm game elements, based on a manga series I've never heard of. Of course, Kyoko's heard of it, that's why she recorded all the footage. I mean, the visual novel portion works perfectly. I don't see any graphical glitches whatsoever. Unfortunately, we forgot to record the rhythm game portion of this, but we can confirm it works pretty well as well. Now we're gonna try a Persona 4 Golden for shits and giggles. If you're gonna run Persona 4 on your Steam Deck, you may as well just get the PC version of the game. I mean, the game runs reasonably well on Vita 3K, but the fact of the matter is, it just seems kind of pointless when you have a perfectly viable PC port. And now for my type of game, Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax. At the 1080p settings, it doesn't run well. At the native Vita resolution, it doesn't really run that well either. It's got graphical glitches and it's unplayable garbage. That said, Dengeki Bunko is available on PS3, so you just emulate the PS3 version instead. And this right here is Muramasa Rebirth. It's an enhanced version of Muramasa the Demon Blade. It's got a better translation and DLC content that you can play. There's a bit of audio crackling, but the game runs reasonably well on Vita 3K. As it stands right now, the best version to play on the Steam Deck is the Wii version of this game. But hopefully in the future when Vita 3K gets more development, the Vita version of Muramasa will be the definitive version to emulate. So what did we learn today? Well, we were given a grim reminder that Vita 3K is still very much a work in progress. But for a lot of the most popular Vita games, but for every game that runs and looks decent like Freedom Wars and Persona 4, there's like a multitude of other games that either look weird or straight up don't run. And I hope in the future these games will run a lot better. If you wish to directly support High Tech Low Life, you should check out the link in the description below for our Patreon page. And if you like this video, you should give it a thumbs up and subscribe as well. And if you want, you can also join my Discord server. As always, links in the description down below for all of this.